This tutorial will be a crochet motif. What are some other types of crochet thread you would like to see me make? Please share your ideas in the comments section below. We will be using a size 3 crochet hook, size 10 crochet cotton. I am doing the wraps per inch to show you the size thread I'm using. This will give you an idea of the size thread you are working with. I have over 30 wraps within this inch, so this will tell you it's a very fine lace thread that I'm working with. The label says it's a size 10 crochet cotton. Take the loose end, wrap it over the main strand, now you have a loop. Take the loop, wrap it over the main strand, put your hook below the center strand back up the opposite side. This creates the slip knot. Work a chain of six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Join with the beginning chain. Joining is putting your hook right through the very first chain. Wrap the thread over, pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. You have joined your chain into a ring. We will be working eight popcorn stitches with a chain three between each stitch. I'm going to work the chain one. Not count that as a stitch, it is only my step up. I'm going to work five double crochet, one, and I'm working right around the ring. I'm not going through any chains. Two, three, four, five. I'm on the front. I'm going to flip this around to the back side, work a slip stitch, and I'm putting my hook right below the two loops. Wrap the thread over, pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. You can see we have this little raised popcorn. Work a chain three. Work five more double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Flip it around. Work a slip stitch to join. We have two popcorn complete. Work a chain three. I will be showing the next popcorn stitch in slow motion. There will be no sound. working popcorn number four. You will continue around to the beginning until you have eight popcorn stitches, working them all through the center ring. They are all the same. I have completed my last popcorn stitch. I want to make a chain three. We will join with the beginning popcorn, and I'm putting my hook right here towards the back. You can just find whatever loops are back there. I like to go through at least two. That way it doesn't pull up. If you go through just one, maybe you can see right there, it tends to pull up like that, and then it creates a little hole. So I like to go through at least two, wrap the thread over, pull through, pull through the loop on the hook, 
and round one is joined. I crocheted right over my beginning tail. And I'm going to cut that off and get it out of the way. Sometimes they get a little bit annoying and so I like to get them out of the way. Round two, we're going to work a chain one and I'm working a single crochet right through the popcorn towards the back here. One single crochet and working three single crochet through the chain and I'm working right around the chain. I'm not going through it. I'm going right through the center of the popcorn working one single crochet, working three single crochet through the chain, working one single crochet through the top of the popcorn, three single crochet through the chain, one single crochet through the top of the popcorn, three single crochet through the chain. One single crochet through the popcorn, three single crochet through the chain. You will continue around to the beginning working one single crochet through the popcorn, three through the chain. I am back around the beginning. I'm going to join with the very first stitch putting my hook below the two loops at the top of the stitch, wrap the thread over, pull through, pull through the loop on my hook. We have completed round two. And this is what it looks like. When we turn it sideways, you can see the raised popcorn sticking up and this is how it should look. Round three, we're going to slip stitch over to the center single crochet and this is just putting your hook below the first single crochet, wrap the thread over, pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. Put your hook through the next single crochet, wrap the thread over, pull through, pull through the loop on your hook. Work a chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We are going to work a slip stitch in the center single crochet. Chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Work a slip stitch in the center, single crochet. Chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Work a slip stitch in the center. Chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Work a slip stitch in the center single crochet. Right here is the single crochet from the popcorn. The first single crochet, this is the middle center single crochet and I'm putting my hook below the two loops. Wrap the thread over, pull through, pull through the loop on the hook. We have worked a slip stitch. Chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Work a slip stitch in the center, single crochet. Chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Work a slip stitch in the center, single crochet. Chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Work a slip stitch in the center, single crochet. We will be working the last chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We are going to work our slip stitch here at the base of the very first chain like that. And this is what it looks like through round three. Round four, we will work a chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to pull our loop up like this and work three single crochet through the center. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Work a slip stitch. I am working in the previous single crochet, working right over the chain. Just 
just working a slip stitch, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Work three single crochet, one, two, three. Chain six, slip stitch, chain six, work three single crochet. This is what we have completed at this point. You will continue around to the beginning working a chain six, slip stitch, chain six, three single crochet through the top of the loop. I have finished the last chain. I'm around to the beginning and I'm working a slip stitch here at the base. This will join the round together. Wrap the thread over, pull through. And I like to lay it out first before I cut just to make sure I don't have too many mistakes or any mistakes, but sometimes the mistakes are not very noticeable. So, for example, if you only worked a chain five instead of a chain six, it's probably not going to be noticed. But this looks pretty good. And I'm going to go on ahead and cut the thread, pull it through, give it a tug. And that completes the medallion. I have another medallion here that I'm working on. If you wanted to join them together, this is how you would do it. I'm going to work a chain four. I'm going to sandwich them together like this. This is the side I'm going to be joining with. I'm going to pick it up like this. Work a slip stitch through the chain. This will be number five, six. I'm going to go back over here. I'm working through this chain, working my three single crochet. I'm going to work a chain one, and then on the opposite side, work a slip stitch. This is going to count as number two, three, four, five, six. And then go down here, work a slip stitch. And then continue working one, two, three, four, five, six, three single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Work a slip stitch down here between. And this is what it'll look like joining them together. I have connected four medallions together. What I want to point out is when you work the last medallion, you will need to work three from where you end. For example, I ended right here with this one, so you count back one, two, three. You will need three segments of the last round to attach to close it up. This is going to be a center to close this up. I am attaching a slip knot to the crochet hook. Work a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Join with the beginning chain. Work a chain four. One, two, three, four. Work a double crochet right through the center. Then we're going to put this in the center. And I need to get my tails out of the way. I am going to find the second single crochet in the center. Put my hook through, work a slip stitch like this. And this part may be a little bit challenging since we're working in the center. So it can be a little bit awkward. So I'm going to work a chain four. Now I'm going to work a double crochet in the same space going to work a slip stitch into the chain five loop, work a chain four, work a double crochet in the chain five loop. Now we're going to attach in the second middle single crochet in the next segment like this. 
work a chain four, work a double crochet in the same space, slip stitch in the chain five. This is what we have worked so far. We have two more to join. These two have not been connected yet. These two have been connected. Work a chain four, double crochet through the chain five, work a slip stitch in the center, single crochet, chain four, work a double crochet in the same space, slip stitch in the chain five loop, work a chain four, work a double crochet in the chain five. We have one more to join. We want to work a slip stitch in the center, single crochet, wrap the thread over, pull through, chain four, Work a double crochet in the center, single crochet. Work a slip stitch in the chain five. Wrap the thread over, pull through a little bit. We're going to lay it out and see what it looks like. We just want to make sure that everything looks like it's in place. And I'm going to straighten up my loops a little bit. Like that. I think that looks pretty good, so I'm going to go on ahead, cut the thread, pull it through, give it a tug. Now we have a little connection in the middle for attaching all the pieces together.